A 90 from Neil Dexter, frustrated Worcestershire on the penultimate day of their crucial LV County Championship match with Middlesex at New Road, but they have still just about given themselves a chance of a much-needed win. Middlesex started the day on 49 without loss in reply to Worcestershire's 323, but the former Middlesex man Alan Richardson was soon putting his side well on top. Chris Rogers was out in the day's fifth over and Joe Denley quickly followed as he lost his off stump. Richardson, having another exceptional summer, then took a return catch to remove the informed Derby Milan to leave Middlesex on 61 for three. That was Richardson's 50th championship wicket of the summer. That brought in Dexter to join Sam Robson and it was this pair which started to restore the balance of this game. How Worcestershire didn't need that to happen. Dexter hit 100 in his side's last match up the road in Birmingham and he again looked in splendid touch, as did Robson, who'd started his innings on the previous evening. He'd resumed on this morning on 27 and went to his 50, his fourth of the season, with a nudge off his hip from his 108th delivery. He'd struck nine boundaries in getting there. After a now well-known awful few months, Dexter is just started to look like the player of old and his side had really needed him here. The rain on Wednesday had made Worcestershire even more urgent for wickets, but not for the first time. Without Richardson in their attack, they do struggle to take them. Robson was now benefiting from seeing off Richardson's opening spell and his first of this morning, and he was soon to his highest score of the season after nailing down the opening spot in the Middlesex batting order. He'd made 72 when he was out not long after lunch, lobbing the simplest of catches to short leg off Moeen Alley. He departed at 167 for four, but Dexter was still there and showing good form as he completed his half-century from his 108th ball, an innings which had thus far contained nine boundaries. It had been an important knock given the state of the match when he came to the crease. Adam Rossington's stay was a brief one, however. On six, he was trapped in front by Gareth Andrew, a wicket which once again put the home side on top. So what they needed right now was for a tumble of wickets to ensure that they had a substantial first innings lead to play with. That lead stood at 142 when Gareth Berg strolled to the crease, but it was his partnership with Dexter, and they've enjoyed batting with each other a lot of late, which is now going to make this a difficult game for Worcestershire to win especially after their lead had been reduced to just 82 by the time that Berg edged Chris Russell to Alley straight after T after making 30. Dexter had been moving along nicely and looked set for a second hundred in two games, but 10 runs short, he was bowled through the gate by Joe Leach and he left with his side on 249 for seven. Richardson then grabbed the second new ball and had immediate success by bowling Toby Rowland-Jones. Worcestershire would have wanted to be batting again as soon as possible, but Middlesex do bat all the way down and Stephen Crook and Tim Murta added 16 before Crook lost his off stump to Russell, who again impressed. So Worcestershire now led by 42 with the last pair in. They would have taken that, but now they couldn't immediately get shot of either Murta or Ravi Patel. Patel hit a quick fire 19 while Murta was finally dismissed by Russell, who took a smart return catch. Middlesex were all out for 306 to trail by just 17. The home side then made the worst possible start to their second innings. With his first ball, Roland Jones had Philip Hughes leg before, and then Murta began his second over by at last getting Daryl Mitchell out after the batsman had carried his bat through 102 overs in the first dig. Worcestershire had had their chances to impose themselves on this game and as Matt Pardo and Ali came together with the total on six for two, this was possibly their last chance. With those early loss of wickets, these two couldn't press on as they would have liked, but they still added 38 runs in 10 overs. But once more, they were pegged back right at the end of the day as Roland Jones had Ali taken behind for 22. Not another run was added in the final four overs, meaning that Worcestershire have a lot to do on the final day. They'll begin it on 44 for three with a lead of 61, but need plenty of runs and quickly if they're going to give themselves any chance of winning this crucial game.